Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. Good morning. Join me Facebook Live. God's blessings. Hello, good morning everyone. Now it's morning here in Manila, Philippines. Good evening, USA. And also good morning, early morning in Europe and Africa. And here in Asia, it's morning, uh, it's morning here. Especially here in Manila, Philippines. It's time 7.42 in the morning. So everyone join me. Everyone join me Facebook Live. I uh, suppose uh, in my YouTube account, but uh, only here in Facebook Live. So everyone uh, can watch me or train me this morning. God bless you everyone. So this morning I will share this my daily devotional to so all of you. Uh, everyone join me. My daily devotional is faith. Okay, we will say hello, Sister Ronda May. God bless you, CC. Thank you. Good morning here from Manila, Philippines. Good morning, CC. Good evening, USA. Ronda May watching from USA. So uh, my message is faith. Faith is contin continual process. So we need to always our faith is continue. Okay, to continue process. Okay, continual process. So daily devotion. Uh, before I share my message, thank you, Sisi Ronda May. Good morning, uh, Dada Brad, Bradley Barrett, Bradley Barrett, Bradley Glad Barrett Senior, watching from uh, South Dakota. Good evening, uh, everyone there in USA. So before I share my message, uh, we will pray for all those people around the world, not only for ourselves, for our family, for our friends, but we continue to pray that this uh, this world. That everything this world that uh, until now we are still uh, in this uh, pandemic so we continue to pray that God will heal our land so and everyone also uh, prayers for Honey's prayers we continue praying for Sister K. Hems Sister K. Hems hello Sister Danit Lozano watching from USA Sister K. Uh, K. Hems that uh, her husband watching from Alabama USA uh, that having a cancer and spraying all over his body so we continue to pray for her to our beloved sister in Christ sister Kehem in uh, Alabama USA and everyone that sometimes you know I can't uh, mention so all your name because there's a lot of prayer requests and also prayers for sister uh, sister uh, uh, Lozano sister uh, Nanit Lozano uh, that her uh, that her son was passed away for uh, having a motorcycle accident so prayers for her and also for uh, her family and everyone so okay we, uh, here we are faith is a continual continual process okay so i will read my uh, scriptures to all of you in the books of matthew chapter 9 verse 28 and when he was come okay everyone uh, join me and listen to everyone and when he come and when he was come into the house, okay, the blind man came to him, and Jesus said unto him, okay, this Jesus was saying, believe. So Jesus was saying, Jesus arrived on that blind man, okay, the blind man, okay, and Jesus was telling him, believe ye, okay, he was saying, believe ye that I am able to do this, so we need to believe, okay, we need to believe that Jesus can do can do everything in this world, okay? And they said unto him, Yeah, Lord, it was saying. So it was saying, Yes, Lord. So in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 28, okay, that Jesus was saying that Jesus, okay, comes to the blind man, okay, and Jesus was telling him to the blind man that he needs to believe, okay? He needs to believe that Jesus, okay, that Jesus can help his eyes and this blind man can see. And we need to believe. Uh, okay, I will read my daily personal message first. So faith, okay, so our faith, faith is very relevant in our walk with the Lord. Without, without faith, no child of God can please the Lord. In the books of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, I will read first. So it was saying in the books of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please to place him. Of course, 100% how you can place God if you if you don't have faith. Amen. So we need is faith. Okay? 
So, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that commit, okay, commit to God, must believe that He is. Okay, it was saying, it was saying that who believe, okay, example, you believe, okay, you believing in God. Of course, you need, you need to believe Him, okay, that this, this pandemic, okay, is going to done. So then, if you, if you will say that, why until now this pandemic, this pandemic until now is not yet done because of every people okay instead to pray and having faith okay people only gossiping and go gossiping people's behind and because of their pride amen gossiping for nothing for nonsense cannot help amen so then how god will help our land how God will help us and bless us. Because if I believe, I do believe, I do believe every people different believe and believe. Amen. I do believe. But only one God. So what we gonna do? We need to continue praying that we having faith. Because if you don't have faith in how you can place God. Amen. Okay. So I am here at my store. And uh, my son-in-law was helping me. They having a customer. Okay. <clears throat> so it was saying. Continue. <clears throat> so in the books of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Okay. If without, without, if without faith, it is impossible to place him. Okay, that he commit to God. Okay, if everyone you have it, you know God and you commit God, you need to believe. Okay, you need to believe always in your whole mind and heart and having faith that God can do it, that Jesus can do it. If you having a second thought, okay, that you are doubting, then how you can place God? Of course, cannot. Amen. Okay, continue in daily devotional uh, message. So when the blind when the blind man came to Jesus Christ, okay, he, okay, he recognized that they, they were blind, but he had to bring them to a point of believing that he could, he could help them before he finally held them. Each of the men received healing according to their faith, of course, 100%. Amen. So in the box of Matthew chapter 9, okay, I will read chapter 9, verse 22 to 30. I will read my scripture first before I continue my daily devotional message. A verse, uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse 22. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, okay, he said, Daughter, be, be of good comfort. The faith Okay, the faith had made okay this hall, and the woman was made hall from that house because only our faith. Okay, verse twenty-three. And when Jesus came into a roller house and saw the and saw the menstrual and the people making a noise, twenty-four, he said, "Jesus, Jesus said unto them." Give place for the maid is not dead. So Jesus is the one to say, okay, that give place for the maid and the maid is not dead. But sleep it. Jesus was saying he is not dead but only sleeping. Okay. And they love, they love him to scorn and the people laughing to Jesus Christ. And 25 verse 25. <clears throat> But when the people were put were put forth, he went in and and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. You can see how Jesus, how Jesus having a power. How Jesus, how Jesus held every sick, every different kind of sickness or diseases or, or uh, what do you call that, or the evil attack. Amen. Okay. Verse 26. So the woman was arose. Okay. 
Jesus was saying that the woman is not dead, but only his sleep. Okay, so Jesus held her, held her, and the woman arose. Okay, verse 26. And the fame, okay, and the fame her up, went abroad. So the fame of Jesus Christ, how Jesus held all the sick people, all the sick people, all the possessed people, all the, all the diseases people, okay, spread abroad. Okay, her up went abroad into all that Lord. 27, and when Jesus departed thence, okay, hello brother Dareno, good morning uh, England, uh, what's your from London? It, so it was saying, <clears throat> so the two blind men, okay, the, followed him. So the two blind men, okay, the two blind men that Jesus held them, followed Jesus Christ, okay, follow him, And crying and saying, the son of David, have mercy on us. So, like the situation, okay, I will read all my scripture first. You know, something like, I cannot wait, okay, I cannot wait to say already. 28, and when he was, okay, and when he was come into the house, okay, the blind man came to him and Jesus said unto him, believe ye that I am. Um, so you see Jesus is the one to say I am in the books of Matthew chapter 28 I am able to do this so Jesus is the one to say not 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 the man not the man on earth or people on earth or whatever it is Jesus is the one who say that <coughs> he was saying that I am able to do this so if you didn't have faith then how the questions of every people is about faith amen so they said unto him jesus asking to the blind man so the blind man answered to jesus christ okay they said unto him yeah lord so they're the one to say that yes lord amen 29 then touch Their eyes saying, according to your faith. You see, according to our faith, be it unto you. So it means it's according to our faith. So every one of us, example, we having challenge. We having difficulties. We having trials. We having for all of the situation. If what's happening for every people's life or our life. Amen. It was saying the scripture can telling us, amen, the scripture telling us according to our faith, even though we are facing too many challenges in life. It's still according to our faith. Even though how the strong wind we are facing for those trials, but it's according to our faith that we believe that Jesus can do it. It's It's, it's very simply, we believe Jesus can do it. Of course, Jesus can do it because Jesus is God. Jesus is the begotten sons of the Father. And all the power of the Father was given to him. Amen. So you need to believe. If those people don't believe it, it's up to them. If they don't believe it, then it's up to them. Amen. But our belief and belief, Jesus can do it for everything on earth. So the problem, the sign, why we are still facing for this pandemic, because of people different belief, because of different religion, how the way they are. Because they are teaching about their religion. They are not teaching about faith. That continue believing, continual. Amen. Then how? Because every people around the world, in this whole over the world, because of different religions, so then they are teaching about their religion. They are not teaching, they are not teaching about 
who was Jesus is. Amen. They are not teaching this. That they need to continue believing. They are teaching about their religion. So this is shaking people's heads to understand if how. Amen. You say you can see that. <clears throat> you can see this. Believe ye that I am able to do this. So if people who don't believe it, then how? What's gonna happen for the whole world? It's not too late for every people. Amen. If you don't believe it, it's your life. It's up to you. Nobody force you. But the truth, this is the truth. We are not we are not teaching about religion. We are not teaching that we are, you know, we are different people around the world. We are teaching, okay? We are teaching that we need to follow on Jesus. We are teaching that we need to repent. We are teaching that, okay, that only Jesus is the way to heaven. And we are teaching that on Jesus, okay, is only Jesus is the answer for the whole world. But the problem, but the problem of this, the whole world, in this whole over the world, people how the way they are teaching. Amen. I don't have religion. I stand if how Jesus was teaching, okay, when he started ministry and he became a man and walked unto this world. This is my belief and belief. Amen. So in 29, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, Jesus was touched, okay, then touched he their eyes. Jesus was touching their eyes, okay, and Jesus was saying, according to your faith, okay, when Jesus touched your eyes, okay, according to your faith, that Jesus can heal your eyes, okay, that you can see, you can see everything, or you can see Jesus, guys, of course, you can see it. But if you are doubting, then how? Of course, your eyes will not open because you are doubting Jesus Christ. You are doubting the only one begotten sons of the Father in heaven. Amen. Verse 30. And their eyes were open. Because they are saying, yes, Lord. They believe that Jesus can help their eyes. That they believe that they can see it again. Okay? So when Jesus, okay, touched their eyes, they opened their eyes and Jesus straightly, okay, charged them saying, see that no man know it. Of course, no man, no one on earth, okay? No one on earth know it. Amen? Only the Father and the Son. Amen. Okay, continue. <coughs> continue daily devotion message. So it was saying. <coughs> okay. So all of them. Okay. Were held. So all the scripture that I read in the books of Matthew chapter 9. 22 to 30. Okay. In daily devotion message continue. All of them were held. You can see. Jesus held them, okay, for those women that he was dead already, but Jesus was saying he is not dead, but only he sleep, and Jesus arose, arose her, and this blind man, okay, Jesus touched their eyes according to their faith that they believe Jesus can help them, and they opened their eyes. You see this? Okay. But those with a greater faith receive more than just healing. Beloved, never get never get discouraged and really quest your faith in the Lord. Let your desires be back with scripture. Okay, so it was saying that let our desire need back to the scripture and continually okay 
continually believe that you have your desire to fulfill. Okay, then God will glory himself in our life. Amen. Grow, do I say that? Grow your faith. We need to grow our faith each day, every minute, every hour, all the time. We need to grow our faith. Amen. Through hearing, okay? Hearing the words of God, studying the words of God, and putting the words of God to work. Not only that, you know, not only like only you are praying and asking and asking, but during your challenge, something like you discourage and giving up, amen, that you are doubting about your faith. Okay, so it was saying that hearing, okay, hearing, okay, reading and studying and we need to put the words of God to work. It means it, we need to apply to ourselves, okay, to our life. The words of God we need to apply in reality. Amen. It was saying, and our faith. Okay, and our faith will be strong to qualify. Okay, qualify us for any good, for any good thing you ask from the Lord. You see, so this this is how. Okay, so here we are. So every people, okay, here we are. Every people only always depend. Okay, always depend what they want. Okay what they want and only they pray that like they want blessings but with in reality in acting they are not doing it then how god will hurt you how god will hurt us you will say that i am praying i went to church oh yeah you went to church you are praying but okay but in your lifestyle, okay, in reality, okay, you are still act having pride. You know, like pride, like a fried chicken. Amen. And during, and during these trials or challenges, okay, and something like you're giving up. You have faith, but you are doubting. This is why, okay, it's been long time, this pandemic in all over the world. Why it's been long time for this pandemic? Because of people's faith. Okay, their, their faith, their faith is not in reality. Without action. In a long story short, their faith, okay, they don't believe how they believe because of this religion. Amen. So every people. So if you think, if you think God will hurt us, our Father in heaven, okay, our Father in heaven will hear, will, will, okay, the Father in heaven will answer our prayers and every people's prayers. Amen. Because did you know what? If they having blessings, something like is very hard for them. Thanks God for this blessing. Amen. Even though even though that they having challenge, okay, something like they giving up. They don't want already. Because because of the you know what? Because they are nothing the about their faith. Amen. So in reality, if every people's in reality, okay, in real, people are not changing. They loves, they loves to follow the world. They loves to listen for all lies in social media. They don't like 
to listen. Okay, they don't like to listen or to hear the words of God. Okay, example. Today is Sunday. Okay, in reality. Okay, today is, here in Manila, Philippines, today is Sunday. So then every people went to church because it's Sunday to show to the people or the world that they went to church. Okay, this is this is the people. Okay, so today is Sunday. People went to church. Okay, they went to church and pray. Uh, I know already what did they pray. Lord, help me this one. Lord, uh, help. Uh, I don't have like this. I don't have. I don't have money to pay my bills. I don't have money to pay my rent. I don't have money to buy my food. I don't have nothing. So number one, people went to church. Okay, they pray. Number one is about financially. Okay. <coughs> so here they are. They are praying about financially. Okay. So in this challenge, okay, they having they having this too much challenge. They cannot say thank thanks God. Even I don't have I don't have food or not enough foods to eat. I'm still thankful. They doesn't know how to say that. Only they are praying and asking and asking. Amen. And then if they pray and God okay not answer their prayers, there here they are. Here they are that something like why God not to answers my prayers. Amen. So this is the people today, okay, in everywhere in all over the world. Amen. So you should think about that, but think about that this situation, okay, the situation that why until now this pandemic? Why until now the world that something like is still keep going? What's happening in this world? People don't think about that. And people don't believe. They don't believe that Jesus will come back again. They don't believe that. Why they don't believe that? Because of every people who was sharing, okay, sharing or preaching the gospel, they are not teaching, okay, they are not teaching about Jesus Christ, that Jesus will come back again here on earth they are teaching number one they are teaching about their religion because of this religion there's a lot of religion around the world amen and spreading of all lies okay here i will share to all of you I heard and I watch, not 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 me, okay, but only I watch, okay. I watch, okay. I watch in uh, news. I watch in YouTube. I watch in ever. We have this here in Manila, Philippines, okay. That a very a uh, popular a uh, popular pastor preacher, okay. When I watch this video and I can see all in news, this preacher, this preacher pastor, okay, that he was claiming, he was claiming that he is the second Jesus Christ, okay. When I saw and watched the news, now here we are. The United States of America was filing a case for him. Because being a pastor and preacher, this preacher and pastor having having sex to his members of this all all woman of his member in his church. So how could how could you say that? If you think about this, this is how they are teaching. Amen. It's really a surprise. If I will say, you are God's calling. You are a preacher. You are a pastor or whatever. Okay. So if I will say you are a pastor, what is your job? Of course, you need to focus only in the Bible. It was right or wrong. Amen. 
All you need to focus in the Bible. Right? So what you are preaching in the Bible? Okay? So you are preaching, you are preaching that up there you are in, in, in front of millions of people or millions of your followers that your members or people around the world, you, that they doesn't know, okay? They doesn't know that you are a pastor, you are preaching, okay? And then here you are. You having sex to your member? Disgusting and stupid evil. So this is this is this is how you are preaching the gospel here. So this is why you, is you can see you just think about that. Amen. You must think about that. Why the world until now is still okay? The pandemic continue pandemic until when it's going to finish? Because of this, because I'm very sorry to say this, okay? But straight talk, okay. This preacher and pastor around the world, what are you preaching for? To having millions of millions of money that there's a lot of people or sweet children or homeless people around the world that they can't eat? And you will say that oh, it's not our goals. Okay, okay then. My answer is what did Jesus do? teaching when he started ministry when he became a man and walked unto this world amen we need to believe that he can do it amen so this is why the world is getting worse it's getting worse because of this preacher and pastor how the way they are teaching you can't imagine that you are a pastor and preacher, okay? You rape your members in your church. Then what, sh what should I call like this pastor and preacher? They are, they are puppet of Satan. I don't care. Okay? So even those challenge in life those trials those difficulties everyone okay i'm not i'm not challenging anyone because i don't like challenge but if i say something straight talk if you're a pastor or preacher or whatever you need to you need to speak the truth you need to straight talk Okay, don't say that, oh, in the Bible here, it was reading here, oh, in the box of this one, oh, and the scripture was reading like this. Oh, yeah. Because not all the Bible was telling the truth. Amen. This is why people make confused and shaking their head. How to understand? Because of this stupid evil, stupid evil pastor preacher around the world amen you can do imagine that the united states of america the one for a very popular preacher pastor here in the philippines file a case for him because of the news that he having sex with his members okay with his all this woman at the young of age 18 okay 18 until 25 so then this is the pastor teaching oh i read in the bible in the box of like this and then after finish every night this pastor having sex for the woman oh come on but having millions of followers you can imagine having a mansion, having a private jet. This is this is a preacher and pastor was doing in all over the world. Instead to preach that continually having faith and believe. Here the people, here's the pastor preaching. It's really I I, I don't know how to say. But this is the world, why the world, just, just think, just think about it in your mind, why the world is still getting worse 
why the world okay continue and this pandemic is not yet done you understand people and then if i will see how people will understand they are not living spiritually 100 if the people not living spiritually of course something ah uh, like this reaction ah uh, oh this is the reactions of people because they are not living spiritually then how how they will understand or if they will say even they are christian they are christian for what but they are they are, <coughs> they are christian but they are not saved so it's different amen so suppose my point is my point is if everyone who was god's calling or you having assignment Okay, my point is you need to speak the truth if what you are preaching or what you are spreading. It was right. Amen. So really, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand why these people do like this or doing like this. Oh, we understood. Okay, because not all everyone got calling followers of Jesus Christ 100% amen that is why that is why even the Bible was saying okay the Antichrist amen okay the false prophet okay or the way the false teaching 100% also because and people don't understand and don't believe or, and they doesn't know that we are now in the box of a revelation <laughs> they don't understand this okay then people went to church after that after that it's still nothing nothing changed but show up to the people oh i went to church this morning i pray then my question is you having faith in god that you believe that Jesus only is the ways to heaven that only Jesus can help or only Jesus is the answer of this of this world you believe that then if you don't believe okay if you don't believe then I'm sorry my friend you condemn already because you don't believing in him But it was saying, according to our faith. Did you know what? I am here already in my beloved country in the Philippines. Before, I really struggled in, in Qatar and always uh, I cried. But even I cried, but I cried to the Lord. For all challenges, for all trials. I always put in my mind and heart, I won't give up no matter what. Even though how hard it is, but I always believe my faith, I never do. Okay, I never do my faith. Now I am here already in <clears throat> Manila, Philippines. And also all of us, even though how people rich in this all over the world but i do believe still struggling struggling of this situation in all over the world we are all anyway we are all struggling but i never lose okay i never lose my hope i always having faith in god so i'm encourage you all okay I'm encouraging you not only encourage, okay, but the truth. No matter what in life, okay, you are burden, trials, difficulties, everything, okay, always put you having faith. Believe that Jesus can do it. Amen. Only Jesus, all we need. And no one else not everyone not everybody okay not not your money 
not your family or friends or job whatever but Jesus continue believing in him continually okay process to believe okay believing in him amen because if we continue believing in him the father god is the one to bless us amen so don't lose your hope for all trials don't doff your faith amen so everyone so all of you not only encourage not only to inspire okay but the truth here in this world no matter what only okay just look up from up he is the ones to help us and he is the ones to bless us for everything amen so that's why we have the bible because the scripture the scripture of what is written in the bible can teach us can guide us and lead us so that we understand how the way living on earth amen so if you are burdened or you you are facing for this for these trials just close your eyes close your eyes and pray and having faith amen having faith to jesus christ amen so this is my <clears throat> This is my mission to share so all over this morning that even those <coughs> even those that are busy here be sure at my place you're in my restaurant and store i really also working hard okay i'm really working hard i'm trying my best to share my daily devotionals to all of you so this message um, message i share so all of you this morning faith our faith is a continual process you you need to continue your faith okay always uh, don't doubt your faith okay always believe in your whole mind and in your whole heart okay everything on earth okay only the answers in this the answers of all over the world is jesus christ even though what kind of religions of every peoples only jesus christ So I think I think this one no need to no need to make you know no need to make um think like uh, what or where or what's happening or what ever okay it's very simply only Jesus Christ Amen it's not it's not a religion okay our faith in our whole heart to Jesus Christ Amen Jesus is the answer. Remember Jesus. Jesus died for the sins of the world. And Jesus is only the truth. Okay? So if we share the gospel, if we teach the gospel, okay, we need to stand and follow how Jesus, okay, teach us. This is we need to hear and listen. And this is we need to share also to every people. Okay, so everyone, everyone, for those for those popular pastor and preacher, okay, I'm not I'm not intelligent, I am not smart, okay. For those people who are having millions of followers, only a simply human being, but I have this talent or gift that God's given, that Jesus is the one to say I need to speak the truth. Okay, so if God's giving you a spiritual gift, use, okay, in a good way. And speak the truth. So my message is in the books of Matthew chapter 9 verse 28 and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and Matthew chapter 9, 22 to 30. This is my scripture to share to all of you this morning. Sister Ronda May, thank you so much. Uh, Bradley Barrett, Dada Brad, thank you so much. Uh, the Neat Lozano, thank you so much. Kali Danter, thank you so much. Uh, Kali Danter, watching from Pakistan. 
uh, Sister Ronda May and Dada Brad watching from Bradley Barrett, USA. Danit Lozano watching from USA. Khaled uh, Danter watching from Pakistan. Darinok watching from London. Lilibet Antoki watching, I, I, I don't know if from where. Okay. And Mercy Acosta watching from USA. My cousin Wing Palyasa watching here in the Philippines. My my very good friends of mine, my classmate uh, Ruby Gamilong watching. And also brother uh, Jason Clayton is really surprised. Brother J uh, Jason Clayton watching. Thank you so much, uh, beloved brother in Christ. Ruby Gamilong, thank you so much. And Akin Sula Mackenzie watching from Africa. Thank you everyone here. Really appreciate it. So all of you here. Thank you so much. And everyone keep continue praying. Pray. Pray that this, this, what we are facing, this situation is, is end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I always having my faith. That you see, so every one of us, It's not, it's not show up for the people that we went to church. But we need also to change. Okay, to change our lifestyle and continue believing and continually uh, faith, okay, that our faith always believe no matter what. Up and down, trials, challenge, difficulties, or hard life or whatever it is, always believe. She just can do it. So thank you everyone. I, I love you all. Thank you so much, Dada Brad. God bless you everyone here. And also, uh, December, uh, this December, first week, I think first week of December, I will do feeding again. Okay? The straight children. I'm not going to say anything. Okay? I'm not going to ask anything. But you know everyone, even you can watch or you can check my uh, Facebook uh, profile. Okay? That I never stop helping the street children here in Manila, Philippines. As much as I can help, even though I don't have, but I always, I'm having, I'm having my faith and always believing in God. I know God is the one to make the way for me. Amen. So God bless you, everyone who who sending help or who wants to help. Okay. Thank you for everyone of you. Really appreciate it. I appreciate it, all your help. Good morning from here in Manila, Philippines, and God bless you all. I love you all.